Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you a cool little um, loot table editor that I found um, that potentially makes editing your types XML file a little bit easier than going in and just editing it using a, a file, the file browser on the Nitrado website or even um, if you're downloading the file and using a text editor to do it as well. Now. I'll put the link in the description down below, but if you do a search for um, good Daisy um, XML editor, it normally comes up, but it's called Daisy Loot Edit. It's over on GitHub. And what you do is you st it's done by Mr. X13415. Excellent. <laughs> a loot table editor for Daisy standalone. And you scroll down, and it's, you can read the README file and all that sort of stuff. And you go to download. Now, obviously, you use this file and use this program at your own risk. Okay, you use it at your own risk. And then when you've downloaded it and you've extracted it, you'll end up with this. And then when you load it up, it says if you can move it, you're going to move from here. All right, I've got two versions of it running. Let's uh, maximize it. And then you say load and basically what you want to do sorry is you want to go to I'm, I'm jumping far too ahead of myself aren't I you want to be in your game server uh, go into the web interface you want to go to the file browser you want to go to daisy uh, missions and if you're in Livonia this will say Enoch if you're in Chernerus it will say Chernerus and then you want to go into the DB folder, just there. And then the file you're interested in is the types.xml file. Now, before you do anything, before you do anything, hit the copy button and send down that says actions types XML co um, copy here, rename it. So it would be types. Back up I've already done one today, <laughs> so let's call it um, eighteen we'll give it we'll give it the time twenty one oh two eighteen oh two twenty dot x m l so okay, so we've now got a backup for our types file uh, you would then download that using that button where is it there so it's downloading and then let's go back here so you're in the daisy loot editor say load there it is it's in my downloads file open it up and then you get this which is really cool so you've got all the uh, names down here and then don't mess with this slider <laughs> then you have the category nominal so this is how many should be on the server so increase this by small amounts so if we go down because you can see all the weapons together it's really cool to see it so you can go down it's an alphabetical order as well you can, there's no find function but hey oh i've gone past it there we go AK ammo box ammo 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 where's the M4 K D H G H L M4 so you've got the M4 there so you can see M4A1 nominal is only 10 you only ever get 10 m4s on your server that sucks doesn't it but what's really cool over here you can see count in cargo count in hoarder count in map now always leave the count in map all ticked you don't want to mess around with those but you may want to decide actually i don't think it's fair that the game counts m4s that are in people's chests or in people's um hidey holes where they've put them in a barrel or they buried them in a dry sack or in a ch on a in a wooden box or something so you may want to unclick them oh you got a double click now when you're happy with the change and you may want some more we want 20 when you want some more when you're happy you click set and that will then put that in stone and then you save it 
and then when you're done you probably know that do all this already but then you go back to your server and then you would upload file and you would upload the um, types.xml file from your download wherever you'd, you'd saved it um, it'll probably be like types 1 or something like that and then you would rename it so it's the types mx file stop your server and restart it and the changes would slowly take effect so you see it's pretty cool now I don't know how effective this file is I don't know if it'll introduce different errors or anything but I like how simple it is but the fact that it shows you as well as you know um, uh, let's find good. So, what we got? It's, I like the fact it's in alphabetical order. So, you can, as long as you know the name of something, so like duct tape, you can see duct tape there. You know, there's only 80, they last 7,200. Um, there's a minimum of 60. That's when it restarts the restock. Um, it's a high value thing. They're only counted if they're in the map. Um, so, you know, you can easily zap that up. So I tell you what, while we're here, I should really explain what these things mean, shouldn't I? So, so let's take the combat knife for example. So the nominal, so it's t it's classed as a tool. The nominal is twenty, so there should be twenty on the map. But if we go over here, this is how the game counts them. It only ever counts ones that are in the map. It doesn't count them if they're in the player's hands. It don't count them if they're diluted, which I think is damaged. And it doesn't count them if they're in boxes or they've been buried or anything like that, which is really cool. Um, it lasts 7,200 seconds before it despawns, and it'll start respawning them straight away. So if you, if, if, um, sorry, it'll start respawning them a, a bunch at once if, if they go down to the minimum quantity. The minimum quantity is 10. So when it gets to 10, that's when it starts loading the back into the map, and it does them one after the other straight away. They all, they all come into the map straight away. There's no delay. Whereas if you look at, say, for example, combat boots. Um, these ones they have a uh, a restock delay of 1800 seconds so there's only ever meant to be five in the server they start restocking when they get down to two on the server but there'll be a, a, a delay of 1800 seconds between each one as they as they spawn in as you can see they're only ever counted in the map not on players or anything like that cost relates to whether um, the item uh, how important it is for the server to respawn in most I think it's 100 for everything and then if we look for something like uh, a magazine let's see if we can find some mags I suppose it is a bit of a pain so here we go so so if we look at these mags if we if we look at a mag for the AK-74 um, you've got quant min quant max these only, when it's minus one, it means it doesn't apply to this item. But quant min quant match means that this item will spawn in between 20% and 90% of what it should have inside it. So a magazine should have bullets inside. So this will, will this will spawn in with between and be between 20% and 90% full. Um, so you could change that so they're always 100% full. You could have quant max 100, quant min 100, so that they're always they're always spawning in full of bullets. You could change, you know, you know that sort of thing, which is cool. Water bottles are another one, you know. So you could um, spawn, although you don't want water bottles full, to be honest, because it's probably poisonous. Um, but magazines is probably probably one of the best ones, so that so they're actually full of water. So yeah, so it's a simple tool. Um, the, the tricky thing with it is if you don't know what something's called it, it could be quite difficult to find it but again i like the fact that it's all fairly laid out and what fairly clearly laid out and what what you tend to find is when you do use these tools and you become familiar with what they do it becomes much much easier when you go back to the file browser or if you download your files and, and edit them on something like notepad to actually see what's going on because when you first look at these files when they're when they're like this, when this finally pops up in a second, they look very, very complicated. You think, God, what does it all mean? But when you've actually looked at it broken down in a simpler manner, in a clearer manner, it makes it a lot easier to, to edit things in another way. But I clicked on the right one. I have. There we go. So, you know, when you look at this and you go, oh, God, what does that mean? And you compare it to that, it's a lot more obvious. But once you've used this quite a few times, when you go back to this, all of a sudden you can read this in a, in a lot easier manner. Anyway, I thought I'd just mention that because it looks like it's a useful tool. Use it at your own risk 
and um, if you found the video useful hit like if you want to see more of the same please subscribe thank you very much and i will see you again soon